my name is Cole. This is my house. This is my yard. And this is the part of my yard that's been abandoned for the last hundred years until very recently. And it needs to be seeded. Time out. We gotta dig a grave. Loading this thing's always super sketchy because you can't see anything. And it feels like you're sitting on a mountain. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. That's super sketchy. That's not an ideal place to stop. What do we do? Pop her in neutral? I'm probably pushing the clutch. Ah. somewhere so we're trying to get it figured out what's busted well I think we got the busted pipe fixed so hopefully we got it glued together good and water is going where it's supposed to be now I feel guilty sitting here watching. I really don't, but I wanted to throw that in to make it sound like I feel guilty. Did I mention I got air conditioning in here? Left the big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be Ooh, my that's big rock. Ooh, does a fart stink? If nobody's around. Oh yeah. I'm getting tired. You ever been out working and all at once you're just so tired and then out of nowhere you got your second wind? Well that hasn't happened to me yet and I wish it would. I keep yawning. I'm tired and I don't know why. I shouldn't be. I'm sitting in air conditioning. I'm in a comfortable skid loader chair seat. I don't have my seatbelt on because I'm going as fast as a turtle can in extra slow speed. The only thing out here I could run into would be Cole if he stops in front of me. And I don't think that's going to flip me out of the seat. I was working on the ground come the sun up to sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town. Hard as I try, maybe I just can't. I ain't no up and kind of leaving me. She kissed me one time and she took my heart. Baby, you can love me, you can leave me. I'm a homie, don't start. There it is. <laughs> like many of you, I would not have guessed this would have taken four days to do. But it did. Our next steps now involve getting the real disc in here. And we'll get rid of all these little clumps of stuff. We're just basically gonna go over this and over it and over it and over it until it's a very fine powder. And while we're doing that, we are still going to turn some stuff up. We're gonna still find little chunks of metal. We're gonna find little chunks of tree root and all that good stuff. But that's the downhill slide. Cause we got like four acres over there. It should just be a real quick disc through like five minutes. five hours. Once the four acres on this side gets done and the two acres over there, then this will all be ready to be seeded into alfalfa. Got to call up our neighbor Steve. I'm hoping he can use GPS on his tractor so that way he can line it up with the flags I have laid out here because these are laid out perfectly at 270 degrees, which is perfect east and west. So that means we will have a perfectly straight edge to the yard. So when we get auto steer on the lawnmower, 
Oh, it's gonna be crisp. There's only two things we really have in this world. Number one is our relationship with Jesus Christ. The most important thing we can possibly have because that is our eternity. Where are we gonna spend eternity? Number two, most important thing is our name. What are we about? Do we do the actions that we say we are going to do? You know, we have one name. So once we establish something for ourselves with our name, it's really hard to get out of that. It, you know, it takes 20 years to build a reputation and 20 seconds to build it down. So I want to be very authentic with what I say I'm going to do. So as we can notice, we work on a ton of projects. We get started on one and, you know, we talk it up, talk it up, talk it up. And then we get so far and then we start another one. Then we kind of leave this one behind. And you know, we keep doing that and all of a sudden we have a hundred projects started at once. It's really chaotic and it feels like we get nothing done. So something that I feel could help improve my mood, my happiness, and also what I say I'm going to do is to follow through on getting those projects done. For YouTube, purposes it's way more entertaining to watch all these different projects started because i mean like this it took four days to clean up six acres and doing the same thing over and over it doesn't make the most interesting content but that's not the point we, we don't live life for making content we, we live life for relationships and you know uh, building community when i started this channel i wanted to set out to prove that the american dream is not dead and by the american dream you do not have to live in america to achieve that i mean by the american dream being if you put your mind to something that you want to do you can do it and i feel like i have not done a very good job of showing that so therefore i have been inauthentic because i've just been starting all these things and not following through with them so with that being said we are going to be following through with the projects we start on now, at least on the short ones, because some the longer ones, like the house, you know, they take more time. But we'll get to a point, we're at a good stopping point, we're waiting for something, waiting for prices to change, you know, all that kind of good stuff. But with the small stuff like this, we're just going to see it through. It's going to take time, but it's going to be so much more rewarding. Oh, these silly iron weeds. I've been playing around with the skid loader over here. This particular spot is going to be a driveway. So it's going to wrap around to our main driveway. You can see the sprayer sitting in the middle of the driveway through that door. But it's just going to wrap right on around. It's going to come through here, shoot over by those trucks, and then we can get on the Benside driveway. Yeah, it'll just give us a full loop-de-loop, -loop and we won't ever have to back semis in anywhere, which is what I want, because the more you have to back stuff up, the more likeliness we are for an accident to happen. I like to try to dummy-proof everything, so this is my version of dummy-proofing. Roundabout driveway, no backing up. This white tank is our water tank. I need to get those black mats that weeds and stuff can't grow through. We'll get those laid down here, all the way along the side of the building, and we'll get some nice rock in, and then we can grab our 32% tanks. We can set those up here, then we can get the actual driveway itself built. So that way, when we come in, we want to get 32%. When we're putting nitrogen on, we can just pull up to those tanks. We have already thing ready to hooked up and just plug into the trailer and then if we need to get water for when we're spraying our post corn post soybeans fungicide insecticide you know all that kind of good stuff the tanks already ready to go here we can have the hose in it it can always be full on our sprayer trailer we basically have two identical tanks to these in the past we could only get off 5,000 gallons one of these is 2,500 so both of them is 5,000 gallons and then we were done for the day so we'd basically get a 300 acre day in, and then we'd have a garden hose filling our sprayer tanks and that just took forever so if we can have that always full we can do we can probably do 10 loads a day now so basically we could almost get done spraying our corn in two really good days of running where before it was like five the edge of the driveway is going to be right where the edge of my house door is so basically right here where these wheels are it'll come to where we're standing and then it'll go right off the side of the building so this will be it'd be kind of u-shaped like a nice little c right here we're not gonna have square edges on it just a nice c shape so that way we have plenty of room to get the semis here you can take it wide right on the edge and then we have the wide open there then we're not catching a tank we're not catching the bends on the other end either it'll be the same thing down all the way at the bend site but then from here over then we can see our flag line this is going to be the kentucky bluegrass and then that is going to be the alfalfa and we're also going to have a nice little C shape there. I need to figure out how to get that C shape to look the same as the one that's going to be over here. So that way when we look at it on Google Maps, everything looks the same. And I've also spent some free time digging a hole right here. See those boxes over there? The electricity comes in the light pole, goes down to those boxes. Those boxes run underground. 
over to these boxes. Then the electricity shoots underground, comes right along the side of this concrete pad, and uh, it did go through there, over, over to right there. But someone with a name that rhymes with John, but with an R instead, and he runs a bulldozer and excavator. I accidentally on purposely hit it. And come power to the big machine shed. Now originally we were planning on running uh, electricity from the leg over there. Then we we're going to run it underground to that bin. Underground from that bin into the big machine shed. So that way we'd have 480 electricity in the big machine shed. But that's going to take a little while to do. Which is why we just dug this hole. We found the wires. They are right here. So we're just going to splice those in. Then we need to do a little hand digging over here. We'll put a new wire in between with the splices on either side. So we can at least have electricity in the big machine shed for the time being. The poles in this building are starting to rot out. And our tin's also starting to get pretty sad in a lot of places. A lot of nail holes are wearing through. And then where it's kind of wiggled on a little bit, you're starting to get a little bit of an oblong nail hole. So it's kind of a matter of time before we need to start doing some work to the big machine shed. So at that time, we would like to run electricity in there. But for now, this is going to be our plan. You know how everybody you work with kind of has their own little quirks? <laughs> oh, yep, that's gasoline. Well, Dad, <laughs> Dad has the most quirks out of all of us. I asked him if he would bring some gasoline over when he came over to my house this morning. He said he would. And so, yeah, he lives three miles away from me. And so, you know, I found some stuff to do while he was gone and, you know, whatever. And then after about half an hour, when he said he was like on his way over, after about half an hour, I look and I see he got a text from him. And he said, oh, Cooper and Natalie just pulled in. I'm just going to get in the game plan with them. So, you know, okay, okay. So an hour passes by. It's still not here. You know, I'm still doing some stuff. I'm, I'm waiting for gasoline, by the way. So that way I can use a skid loader because skid loader's out of diesel fuel and the diesel fuel is in the fuel trailer. And the fuel trailer is out of gasoline. So... If any fuel trailer, uh, Thunder Creek, you know, if you wanted to just make your pump diesel, then that would work. But anyhow, so I wait, and wait, and wait. <laughs> Come to find out, Dad's been here for like half an hour. He's been over talking to the electricians. He snuck in the back drive on me. A little bugger. Well, what I'm getting at is Dad is the king of five-minute job like something down the road it takes five minutes to go get and grab 55 minutes later he's still not back and he's he's not even there yet he hasn't grabbed it something else came up something the most obscure impossible things that you would never imagine happening somehow happened to dad <laughs> and then two hours later you'll get your item that's literally every time it's dad i don't know what it is <laughs> He can't help but to chuckle. <laughs> and then if you plan on him taking two hours for something, he does it in five minutes. <laughs> Mom! I spilled! Found him. <laughs>